I started taking classes in 2006. And yeah, it was just a friend was like, you know, you should take a class. And then I haven't left. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of how it works, which I think a lot of people do. You fall in love, and then you just kind of keep taking classes, and then you meet friends. And yeah, it just, I literally have been there doing something since 2006. So. Also for 11 years. Oh, God, it has been. <laughs> <laughs> So after a certain point, I mean, I imagine you finish the amount of classes that you can take. What do you start doing? Well, I, there's a really great community in New York uh, of just improvisers who have taken classes. Uh, and so I think before, you know, I had the honor of getting to perform at the theater, we were just little scrubs, like trying to do shows wherever we could. We did a show one time at like a, a Mexican restaurant, just like where families were having meals. Um, so it's just like the perfect place to have an improv show. So that's, I did a show there once, you know, like basement weird kind of places. Uh, just cause yeah, we all were young and loved it. And then through that, like got better and eventually made a team at the theater and yeah, I don't. Oh, thank you. Made a team. Yeah. I made a team. Made a team. Very so, what, what about you? Uh, pretty much the same story. A different friend told me. I don't know which friend told Abra, but I guess it could have been the same person. <laughs> On the count of three, say their name. One, One two, two, three. three. John Allison. Timothy. Oh, Allison. No. Um, so yeah, a friend Total told me about it. <laughs> friend told me about it. I started taking classes in like 2011, and then eventually I made a team. Yay! Applause. Yeah. Validation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no. no <sorry. laughs> what about you? Oh, same. Okay, <laughs> yeah, give it up. Yay, she made a team. I made it. I actually came. I started watching shows at UCB in high school, and um, I was like. I don't know. I thought it, the classes were three hundred dollars, and I was like, I'll never take a class. <laughs> and then I eventually did. But um, uh, yeah, I just enjoyed watching it. We also was a big part of the indie community. Hosted a lot of shows, um, where you know you just you invite friends and people from wherever. And then I, this is illegal, but we bought beer. And then we'd resell it to those people without without a liquor license. I don't know. Can I say that? Here? You can't. I, I think you're okay here. Yeah. Yeah. This is a safe place for illegal activity I like that. I still do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and, that, and then you're just performing around the city and performing at UCB <laughs> a lot. That's basically it. 